So first, we're going to find the 0, 0 posture. I'm just going to turn slightly so you can see me a little bit better. And um, remember that in 0, 0 posture, we want the three volumes of the body aligned, hips, torso, and head. So you can go ahead and find, and this is where we're saying kiss. You can kiss the limits of the um, end of range, but you don't want to stay there like this locking the knees or locking the hips in position. So you want to find middle with the hips and you might look different than me, but you want to feel that you're in the middle, not forward or not too far back. Same with the torso. Somewhere in the middle. And same with the head. And you will notice that your breathing will be more efficient, more flowy. And your eyes are going to the horizon. So not looking up and not looking down, which is very common. So, of course, if you need more time to find it, you can pause the video and find this zero, zero posture in here. You also notice there are micro movements. We're not we're not looking for stillness. We're looking for balance. And once you've found it, we are going to start with sending the hips back and allowing for the body to tilt forward and allowing for the legs to react. And we're going from. I'm just going to go super slow so you're going to see flexion to extension as if your body is calling your free knee up and your upper body you can see is oriented towards the free leg just gently turn <laughs> so you can see that as well so we're not square and we want to create this pulse and this gentle wave. And you can go ahead as well and uh, uh, turn and move around the room along with me. You can exaggerate if you like. Not too, too much. Staying within that neutral zone. Let's do four more. You can walk back as well. Three, two, one. And come back to center. And now we're going to go and lift, come to a side lift. So basically, we're going through these, the different, moving around the different axes. So here, noticing also that as we lift one hip, there is rotation in the upper body because those two are coupled, remember? And noticing also that this is not a flat movement, just like the one before, but it also has a wave. So try to go as slow as you like to allow yourselves to gently change from one foot to the other, one foot to the other, one foot to the other, finding those relationships, but also finding that transition. So your walk becomes very, very gentle and flowy. And if you're feeling that you know, there is some resistance, maybe mostly from the mind. Just tell yourself that this is just for now. You don't have to bring all of these elements to your walks immediately. But just for now, just for this exercise. And let's move around the room. Remember, you can exaggerate a little bit, but not too much. Allow yourself to allow the... To, I'll change the speed. <laughs> um. okay. 
angle four, three, two, one. Fantastic. And last movement we have is the rotation. And left it for last because we need to be uh, very much aware and stay focused with this one because as we uh, rotate, that's the uh, um, that's a moment where uh, we need to be careful not to create trouble in the spine. So we create the rotation. We want to definitely stay within range. I know you, you can uh, possibly turn more, but I don't want you to go there. I don't want you to start feeling that your muscles are working extra hard. Stay within range and also allow for the hips to counter rotate and also lift. So let's start from here. Start from center, not moving. And you can go slower than me. I wouldn't suggest that you go faster. Also paying attention to how uh, everything else falls into place, meaning how your arms come in to help you, how your knees um, alternate, how your head um, realigns, doesn't stay square like this. It would look strange. Plus, plus it blocks the spine. So all of these things, just some, take your focus, do a big body scan. And if you're feeling ready, you can start moving around a little bit, noticing how this movement along with the other two fits into the pattern of our walk. All of these are movements that our spine does as we're walking. Let's walk a little bit more. Fundamental movements of the human walk. Good. Four, three, two, one. Very nice. And come back to center. Good. Take a moment to notice how uh, things are feeling. Uh, take a moment to find that zero, zero posture again. Now, after uh, we've moved around all these three, all the three axes. And notice your awareness, how that has changed of where each part of the body is and how it's related to the other. <laughs> 